How you doing? Let's get into week five of the NFL, shall we? Let's do it. First game started last Thursday. Indy beat Denver. That's why I was watching two houses, the dry paint dry, two over the hill wash their quarterbacks. I'm like, man, Ryan Russell, Wilson, they both stole money from those respective teams. It was brutal. Russell Wilson missed on fourth down. Receiver threw his helmet, got mad. That told the whole story of the game. It's just bad football. These Thursday night games have been brutal, and that was brutal. In the end of one. Next game, the Giants were over Green Bay, and they played in London, Tottenham Stadium in London. Giants came from behind. What an interesting display of trickery, trickeration. Daniel Jones didn't lose a the game. They won the game. Aaron Rodgers had two of his passes knocked down. The Packers are missing Devontae Adams. I think Devontae Adams right about now is missing Aaron Rodgers. Green Bay just looks like a team that's going through it, doing things. And the Giants, Brian Rabel, who Rabel, who came from the Buffalo Bills offensive coordinator, now the head coach, they got them playing. They got them believing a little something. I can't say what they really are, but they look, they're fighting. They got fighting them. And that's all you can ask for. Elsewhere, Buffalo beat Pittsburgh, my Bills. Well, Pittsburgh ain't got a quarterback, ain't got a running game, ain't got a receiver, ain't got a defense, ain't got a line. I think a lot of Mike Tomlin, but against a high-powered offense like the Bills, yeah, you you better off trying to get back home by halftime. And this game was over by halftime. Josh Allen had an incredible game. He balled out. They, they did what they wanted to do. They opened the whole field on them, and they tore it behind them, beat the doorknobs off of them. And Pittsburgh is going to have a long, long year. A long year. It's a, And this is only week five. That's how bad they are. They're brutal. Uh, elsewhere, probably one of the most entertaining games, and I got to say this without a doubt, who knew that the CLC Hawks and Geno, Geno Smith were going to be the most exciting team to watch on offense? And yeah, I'm saying that. I don't even know if that's really Geno Smith because I think he should be drug tested because he is balling with his his accuracy. I mean, he still is Geno Smith with those occasional turnovers, but he was he came out look good. New Orleans um, did a little bit of everything to win this game. Seattle can't play no defense to save their life. Pete Christmas Carroll gave all his excitement on offense, but his defense sucks. That defense is horrible. They're getting cooked, and they're just giving teams scoring points. But they're going to be entertaining, definitely. Elsewhere, New England over Detroit. Now, they beat them, but they shut them out with a rookie quarterback. But then again, you got to remember, there's Jerry Goff there for Detroit. So you figure they got they caught him being constipated in the Super Bowl a few years ago. So they locked him down pretty good. And New England's going to have something to prove. They're not going to be the worst team. And I'm going to say you like this. In the AFC East, the fight for second is real because that's all it is. Buffalo's going to win the division. But the fight for second, that could be real entertaining with the latest developments going on with the injuries in Miami. And, you know, with New England and the Jets, you know, we'll get to that in a little bit. But that, that they spanked on Detroit, beat them bad. Elsewhere, the Chargers over Cleveland. Very hard for a game. Uh, Justin Hooper came up. I'm going to tell you, if Cleveland wasn't so dependent on waiting on Deshaun Watson, Brisket done a pretty good job. And let's be realistic. Even though their record might indicate it because they only they got a couple with, they're, they're 100 times better off without Baker Mayfield. And I'm going to address him in a little bit. This was a very competitive game. So just let you know. Elsewhere, Minnesota beat Chicago. And Kirk Cousins was going off early in that game. Um, I like Fields for Chicago. Problem is, is uh, Fields had a play with Chicago when they had niggas to coach a little sooner. It might see more results. Chicago is just a step behind what a team can do with something. Minnesota just got a little too much firepower for them, so not there. In the Leon Fest of the game, which I sure hope too many people didn't watch that game, was Houston Jacksonville. Houston beat Jacksonville 13 to 6, but it was a boring game. And Lovey Smith does have Houston playing good. He just doesn't have a lot of offense to show for it. And um, Trevor Lawrence is still a work in progress. And there are going to be some growing pains. But yeah. Elsewhere, Tampa Bay beat Atlanta. Um, and there was controversy with that sack on Tom Brady. I do understand why the refs are blowing that. Throwing the penalties after Tua, Tua Lyle, even though there was no penalties when 
Cam Newton was getting hit upside the head, but you know, but I understand now why they're being more catching for the sacks, but that's not why Atlanta lost the game. Brady knew I played that buff for three quarters and it was a blowout until Mariota and them got some last and made it a little more interesting. But that game shouldn't have been that close. Brady was balling that game for the most part. They just can't get can't put it together with the pieces. That's all. Elsewhere, the Jets over Miami. Zach Wilson looked good. And uh, Miami and their coach is starting to find out, hey, you know, you got some couple lucky token wins. Be thankful for that because the reality is starting to cave in. You're not that good. And they got their butt ten. The Jets are playing pretty – they're playing some hard ball. You know, don't sleep if they end up closing the gap and being second in the AFC East. I'm just saying, you know, they playing with some zest in them. Elsewhere, San Francisco beat Carolina. And Jimmy Garofalo, this ain't hard. He beats up on the ABC chicken teams all the time. It's just come money time. And, of course, he's going to smack up on Baker Mayfield. That ain't saying much. Baker Mayfield is barely hanging on in Carolina. His butt will be riding the pine before long. He stinks, and it's a sad day in Carolina. Sad day. And Christian McCaffrey, I feel bad for the cat. He ain't got no quarterback to work with. They stay in that five head coach. Don't worry. He about ready to hit the ride the pine, too. It's long season there. Elsewhere, Philly over Arizona. Tough competitive game. Jalen Hurt found a way to win. Philly is a very dangerous team. Wins games like this. Setting up a big showdown with Dallas next week. As for Arizona, Colin Murray and them, I think they need a new head coach and a new direction. They look like they just got a hangover. They ain't recovered. They, they have not been on page one, and it doesn't look good at all. Elsewhere, Dallas over the Rams uh, was a hype game. Not really. Dallas's defense on the front is no joke. Now, we still don't know what Cooper Rush can really do, and they don't really do much. But then you know what? If you can play a smash mouth brand of football, keep or get a couple touchdowns, keep the score low, this is a dangerous team until they get it. So we got we still don't know how good the completeness of the team is, but they overshadowed, aside from a couple plays, Matthew Stafford was eating the, eating the pine. He was getting beat up. And Dallas' front, uh, Michael per- Parsons, they did the thing. They came in. They ate. They feasted on them. Just turned the Rams over. The Rams came run, beat them up on the line. And once you take, uh, you know, Cooper Cop, once you get a West Side from one weapon, there ain't much of the Rams. They are not seeing no Super Bowl unless they play Madden on their couch. Elsewhere, Baltimore beat Cincinnati. Tucker hit that last second field goal. Uh, Lamar Jackson came up big, you know, AFC uh, North battle. Lamar Jackson been balling. It's just, and they've had some hard fart losses. So this is a big one. Joe Burrow, they got to figure out how to finish off games. Being a lot of these games can't finish them. So, and then tonight's Monday Night Football game. Woo. Kansas City came back. It was 17 0, 20 to 10 halftime. Almost shopping came back. And Patrick Mahomes doing Patrick Mahomes things, hitting Kels. And the Raiders doing Raiders things. Always find a way to choke and blow it. And Josh McDaniel, don't worry, it won't be long before he be on back on that Patriots sideline with a clipboard because he just can't get the job done with Derek Carr. The Raiders are just almost like cursed. It's the same old same. But give me your thoughts on takes. How did your team do? What was your thoughts and opinions? And what a wild ending to this week five. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, there's a little bit of everything going on in the field right now. I'm out.